Welcome to an HH Building School video tutorial. Today we will be going over the basics of Quavemator and creating your first pose. If you do not have Quavemator, simply go to quavemator.org or click the link in the description. Look for downloads at the bottom of the page and make sure you download the appropriate version. Pause the video while you wait for your download to finish. Let's get started. When you first open Quavemator, it can be a bit overwhelming. Just take a deep breath and pay attention. We'll start simple. Camera controls. Clicking and holding will allow you to rotate around the avatar. Holding Alt while you click will lock the camera to only go left, right, and move forward, backward with mouse movements. And finally, holding shift will allow you to pan around the avatar. Pause and take a second to practice these controls. Maneuvering around the avatar will greatly benefit your creations. You might have noticed a green highlight appearing over the avatar as you move your mouse around it. The green highlights mark body parts that are selectable. To select them, just simply click them and they should turn red, marking that they are selected. If you look to the bottom left of the program, you will notice your selection is also highlighted in blue. This area is called the timeline. It has all the body parts listed, and you can use this to select different body parts, and it will also show you when they move. We'll get to that in a second. Let's look back at the body part we originally selected. How do we move it? Simply clicking it doesn't work. We'll need to use the right side panel for this. You'll notice some buttons at the top, middle, and bottom of this panel. We'll go through it top to bottom. The animation button simply tells you the title of your current animation. The figure button below it will allow you to switch from female to male and male back to female. To the right of it, it will allow you to adjust the size that you are currently working with to get a better view of what it would look like a smaller figure or a larger figure. Below it is Edit Part. This is another way to select the different parts of the body. Simply click it for a drop down menu and select the one you wish to use. Below that you have Rotation, one of the most important parts. This will allow you to rotate the selected body part to the place you wish to have it. Simply type in the number or use the sliders to move the selection around. You can also look at the correlating keyboard keys. They are to the right of the slider. X is Shift, Y is Alt, and Z is Control. This enables you to use the XYZ sphere that is around your selection in the window. If you so choose, simply hold the key, click down on the part, and drag it in the direction you want. Let's play a bit with rotation and move around the avatar's arms. Move them however you would like. Just be sure to type a number, use a slider, and use a key to move the part and see the differences. Feel free to pause and move your avatar into a more preferable position. You might have noticed the bottom left of our screen, the timeline, now has dots that have appeared on it. It has recorded the position we have just made. Make sure to drag it to the beginning if you accidentally have it in the middle. If you wish to get rid of a rotation completely, you can click these dots and hit the delete button on your keyboard. We're almost done. We need to make sure all the body parts are locked, meaning no other animation can take control of them out from under ours. This helps prevent the default animation from messing up ours. To do this, we simply need to move all the body parts that we have not yet moved. Simply move them by one degree, it should be relatively unnoticeable. If it is, try to move another body part in the opposite direction to balance out the new position. Let's lock them all now and we'll be ready to upload. So now that we're ready to upload, find a place you would like to save the pose. I simply put mine in a folder on my desktop. First we will save it as a .avm and then we will save it as a .bvh. You will want to save it as both, since AVMs are easier to load back into the program. If you do load in a BVH rather than normal, 
it can sometimes mess up your animation. Opening a BVH file, you'll notice the timeline is flooded with dots. Simply click Tools and Optimize BVH. This is a step that is unnecessary if you just load from an AVM. Anyhow, let's save it as both and let's open up Second Life. Open up Avatar, Upload, and then click Animation. You want to select the BVH of what you have just created. First, you have simply the name and description of your animation. Do what you would like with it. The next is Priority. These range from 0 to 4. If you have multiple animations playing, the one with the highest priority will play over the lower one. 4 will play over 1, and so on. The loop button simply loops your animation an infinite number of times. This is great for walks or poses. The percent in and percent out sets the point your animation starts looping to. We'll get more on that later. Hand pose simply selects what your hands look like during the pose. Expression selects which expression you play in the beginning of the pose. Be careful though, because these do not loop. They play once and then they will go back to the neutral state. I typically leave this off. There are free HUDs that will set your facial expression and can come in quite handy for poses. I will include a link in the description. Preview while simply shows you how the animation will look in different positions. Ease in and ease out help the pose or animation not be so abrupt when entering or leaving it. I typically set this to one or two depending on the animation or pose. Finally is the play and stop button to view your animation before upload. When you're happy with these selections, hit upload to bring it into Second Life. It should appear in your animations folder. And voila, you've begun your journey to becoming an awesome animator in Second Life. If you have enjoyed this video tutorial, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more videos, support the HH Building School by visiting our website, and dropping by our in-world location for more tutorials. More information in the description. See you at the next tutorial. Bye!